تعالى عليهم اجمعين يا ايها المؤمنون الحاضرون اتقوا الله تعالى وان الله مع الذين اتقوا الذين هم محسنون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين all praises are due to allah lord of the universes he subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the holy quran bismillah rahman rahim o man what has deceived you concerning your lord the most generous the one who created you then fashioned you and proportioned you in whatever form he wills he put you together no but you deny the judgment and verily over you are guardians king and honorable writing down your deeds who knows all that you do as for the righteous they will be in pleasure and the wicked they will be in the fire they will enter to burn inside it on the day of judgment and they will not be able to keep away from there and what can make you know what the day of judgment is again what will explain to you what the day of judgment is it is a day when no one will have power to do anything for another the absolute command on that day is with allah sadaqallahul azim ya allah bless our master muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam and the family of our master muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam in quantity as great as what the pen writes and the mother of the book which is with you bless our master muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam and the family of our master muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam with as much as your heavens contain and bless our master muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam and the family of our master muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam with as much as your earth contains and bless our master muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam and the family of our master muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam with as much as you create from the day you created the world until the day of judgment may peace and blessings be upon him and upon his noble family and blessed companions especially upon the four khulafa rashidin hazrat abu bakr siddiq hazrat umar farooq hazrat usman al ghani and hazrat ali al murtaza and all those who follow them until the last day allahumma barik lana fi rajab wa sha'ban wa balikna ramadan ya ayuha al mu'minun o believers Ya alhamdulillah wa shukrullah we pass through Allah's month of Rajab and we are hoping that Allah will accept our nights of Raghaib and Miraj amen and now we have reached to the last juma of the month of the Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam the month of Sha'ban we are hoping that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept Sha'ban al-Mu'azzam from us and that he will accept our Laylatul Bara'at from us and the pens will write that we will gain his pleasure and the pleasure of the habibullah alayhi salatu wasalam and the pleasure of their friends in the coming year now o believers we are feeling the presence of the month of the ummah of ramazan kareem coming closer to us that sultan of the months is about to enter to our homes we must prepare ourselves to greet that sultan with the honor and adept and respect that is deserved the whole of creation is being prepared and is being decorated for that sultan of the months for ramazan to enter and as believers we should prepare ourselves hazrat saman al farisi radiyallahu an is narrating that when shaban was ending and ramazan was approaching the holy prophet alayhi salatu wasalam he would say o people a very holy month has cast its shadow upon you it is a month in which there is a night which is better than a thousand months allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made its fasting an obligation and made its night prayers nafila Whoever seeks approval during Ramadan with a good habit it will be like he did a farz in another month and whoever does a farz in this month it is like he does 70 farz this is the month of patience 
and the reward for patience is paradise. This is the month of showing sympathy to each other. It is a month in which the believer's risk is increased. The person who helps a fasting person break their fast this month has his sins forgiven and his neck released from the fire and he gets the same reward as the person breaking the fast without anyone's reward getting less. It is a month where the first 10 days are mercy. The middle part is forgiveness from sins and the last 10 days are safety from hellfire. Get used to doing four things in this month. With two things, you will be pleasing your Lord, and with the other two, you cannot live without them. The things that please your Lord are to say, La ilaha illallah, and to ask for forgiveness. As for the other two things you cannot live without, you should ask Allah for paradise and seek refuge in Him from the fire. Anyone who served drinking water to a fasting person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him that water from my fountain, a drink where the person will never feel again thirsty until he enters paradise. O oh believers, if we treat Ramazan with respect, we will find that everything is inside that Ramazan for us. Paradise is inside that Ramazan. Freedom from hellfire is inside that Ramazan. Conquering our ego is inside that Ramazan. Gaining the pleasure of Allah and His Prophet is inside that Ramazan. Our whole year in reality is leading up to Ramazan so that our spirit can break free from the chains of the ego, of shaitan, dunya and our desires and to be free once again to be a servant of Allah. Sultan al-Awliya Shaykh Maulana Muhammad Nazim al-Haqqani Qadazlasir is saying, since Islam arrived with the blessed Ramazan, they fasted by Allah's order. If you can fast in the month of fasting, then fast. This is an order. As it was ordered to the rest of the nations to fast, it was not only for Ummati Muhammad because it was commanded to fast in order to train the ego. The ego, the nafs, has the worst training, worst manners, worst mind. It is shaitanic. We're informed that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the ego, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, come, and it went back. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, go back, it came forward. This is the attribute of the ego. It does not obey. Therefore Allah azza wa jalla, for the sake of training the ego, when he subhanahu wa ta'ala said, who am I? It answered, I am me, and you are you. The ego did not say that it is a servant. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent it for a thousand years in hell. Then it was taken out and asked, who am I? And who are you? It answered, I am me, and you are you. So it was sent for another thousand years in the most freezing place. Then it was taken out and asked, who am I and who are you? It answered, I am me and you are you. It never submitted. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered it to be sent to the valley of hunger. Then it was taken out and asked, Who am I and who are you? It answered, You are the Lord. The training of the ego is the hardest the most difficult of all matters. And all the prophets, they were ordered to fast for the sake of training the ego, the tyrant ego. The last of prophets, the Sultan of Prophets والسلام, was also ordered to fast in the month of Ramadan in which was revealed the Quran, a guidance for mankind and clear proofs of the guidance and the criterion. Sadaqallah al-Azim. Therefore, fast. The heaviest thing for the ego was when it was imprisoned in the valley of hunger. Without fasting, the ego would not obey the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, I am a weak servant and you are the mighty Lord. Fasting is bringing us back to the servanthood of our Lord. Ramazan is not for our ego. Ramazan is for us to control our ego. 
Yes, today there are people who are running to make a new egoistic Ramazan. They are running to turn Ramazan into Christmas, to have Ramazan TV shows, Ramazan sales, Ramazan fairs. As believers, we should run away from all of that. We are running after the Ramazan of the Awliyaullah, of the Prophets and the Sahabis. And the Awliyaullah make Ramazan into an Eid, into a Bayram, yes. But it was an Eid, not for the body, it was an Eid for the spirit. It is a time that finally salams and sakina descend to you because you are able to worship and able to serve your Lord in freedom from the interference of our ego and shaitan. We want to chase after that Ramazan. And yes, we must chase that Ramazan. Hazrat Hassan al-Basri radiallahu anhu is saying, Indeed, Allah has made Ramazan a means of increase for His creation. In this month, they race to gain His pleasure through obedience to Him. Some individuals will win the race, while others will remain back and lose. It is amazing to see a person playing and laughing on a day that the good doers will be rewarded and the wrongdoers will be defeated. We have to run after Ramazan. We want to run after the Ramazan that our Shaykh, Sahib al Saif, Shaykh Abdul Karim al Kabrisi, Rabbani Qadassasir, is describing, saying, the month of Ramazan. The month of Ramazan, the month of fasting, the month of giving zakat, the month of giving charity, the month of sharing, the month of getting together and to enjoy the prayers, the month of getting together to eat the risk of Allah together preparing different dishes and to eat together. This is the month. This month in reality is forcing us to live like that and to be able to carry the other months also the same way. And then when people become familiar to each other, they start loving and respecting each other. Then you cannot find problems anymore. The problems will go away. And if one has a problem, the other one has a solution. If that one does not have the solution, then another one has the solution. Otherwise, look what happens. The whole world has turned into a hell. Everyone has everything today, but they are not sharing anything. Nobody is sharing anything. Everyone is sitting in their own houses. They are not happy. Nobody is happy in their houses. So what do they do? They run more. Why are you running more? With one you did not get happy. Do you think you are going to be happy with the second one or the third one? Or if you have 10 cars, if you have the whole factory belonging to you, so what? Do you think you are going to be happy? You cannot. So when the ayat came where Allah is saying to us, give the best of the wealth you have to the poor, Allah's order saying, the best ones, saying when you are giving away, don't go to give some things that you don't like and some things that you are just going to throw away. He says, give the best ones that you like. This is another teaching to teach us not to become slave to the material things. So that ayat came and the Prophet ﷺ was saying the ayat to the Sahabai Kiram when it finished. Abu Talha radiallahu an got up and he said, Ya Rasulullah, it is known to you that I have a land in Medina that has 600 date trees in it. Everything I'm giving to you. Use it as you like. Give it to the poor. Use it any way you like. It is under your authority. No longer is it mine. Allah is saying give, but I don't know to whom to give. You are the best one. So I give it to you. Use it as you like. Give to anybody you want. Don't take it lightly, thinking that 600 day trees are not something. It is something. I will tell you, 600 day trees are as if Abu Talha had a big factory where dollars are being printed. 
That is how you have to compare. And he gave it just like that because the ayat came. And he came to the land and his wife was waiting out inside. She prepared something to eat and he said to her, collect everything and come out. He did not even enter inside. She said, what is the matter? Yeah, Abu Talha, come inside and let us eat. He says, no, this land does not belong to us anymore. I just gave it to the Holy Prophet She says, Ya Abu Talha, did you give it on my behalf also? He says, yes. She says, oh Ya Rabbi, thank you. This is what I was thinking all the time, Ya Abu Talha. I have been seeing the poor people in Medina and I was thinking maybe we should give this to the poor people. So I'm very happy now and I'm coming out. And they left it to the Holy Prophet And the Holy Prophet fed the whole of Medina with it. These people will not only give their lands, they would give their lives to the whole Prophet We have nothing to give. At least we must make it different. At least you must make it a little different and learn how to share. Oh, believers, that is the spirit of Ramazan. That is the Ramazan that our Shaykh established in this Dargah, and that is the Ramazan that will continue in this Dargah as long as we have life, inshallah. Our Ramazan is a Ramazan of Jamaat. Everything we do here, from the Sahur, to the drumming, to the Fajr, to the Iftar, to the Taraweeh, to the Tahajjud, it is all for us to get together, to care for each other, to have respect and compassion for each other and to help each other. It is to live the hadith that the Holy Prophet is saying. All created beings are Allah's dependents. And the most beloved of creation to Allah is the one who is the best to Allah's dependents. We must try to be the best to each other. We are sharing with each other and taking care of one another and being generous and showing mercy to each other. Then we will feel the mercy of Allah descend upon us. Oh believers, Allah loves to see his servants happy. Yes, we are sorry and regretful about our sins and our mistakes, but we are happy and grateful when we think about the endless blessings and bounties our Lord has surrounded us with. Shaykh Mawlana is saying, Allah Almighty is asking his servants, O oh my servants, be happy, be happy with me. I am your Lord. Follow my most beloved, most praised, most glorified and most majestic deputy. Be happy with him that he may grant to you everything on behalf of me from my endless treasures from pre-eternal up to eternal. My grants are reaching to all creation through that selected one in my divinely presence from pre-eternal up to eternal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is checking us to see if we are happy with him. Shaykh Afendi is saying he is watching us, watching our activities 24 hours, asking his angels, how's my servant? Oh, this servant is complaining. Make it a little more harder then. Close more doors to that one who is complaining. Remove the doors that are easier for him and remove those doors away because he's complaining. How is my servant? Oh, that one is very happy with you, Ya Rabbi. All these difficulties I gave to him, all these troubles I gave to him. He is still happy? Yes, Ya Rabbi, he's happy. Good. Open his ways. O oh, believers, we should enter this Ramazan with the intention to make our Lord happy with us. To make our Holy Prophet ﷺ happy with us and to make our Shaykh happy with us. We should show throughout the month that we are happy with them. Inshallah, if we live that way, then in Ahirat we will fit to the description of those ones Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has described in the Holy Quran, saying, 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Those who have faith and do righteous deeds, they are the best of created beings. Their reward is with their Lord, gardens of eternity beneath which rivers flow. They will live therein forever. Allah is well pleased with them and they are well pleased with him. This is for whoever, this is for whoever has feared his Lord. Sadaqallah alazim. May this Ramazan make us to hear that calling in the next life. We're asking dua with Sultan al-Awliya's dua saying, O oh our Lord, may you dress us also from the barakah of this holy month. May you dress us the jewels of this holy month for the honor of your Habib. May we be from the accepted servants in your presence. May our hearts be nur and may our grave also be nur. O oh our Lord, accept us. Accept us for your servants. May you drive away the ones who make us run away from servanthood. Ask for the rida of Allah, that Allah Almighty dresses you with honor in this holy month. O oh, our Lord, may you increase our honor. May you make it easy for us to keep the respect of this holy month. Let us mount the animal ego and ride above the filth of this dunya. Be clean, mount your ego, defeat your ego and they'll accept you. Allah, Ya Rabbi, for the honor of Shahim Mardan, may his statement to his Yaran be accepted and may it be dressed on us also. Allahu Allah, Allahu Rabbi, Allahu Allah, Allahu Hasbi. Don't fear anything. All honor belongs to you. May Allah grant us that honor in this holy month. May our Ramazan be Mubarak. May our Lord be pleased with us. May his great prophet intercede for us. Everything is granted. Every beauty is granted in this holy month. May it be granted to us also. May we be dressed with it. It descends on Al Kaaba Al Muazzama. The dress of Ramazan is dressed on Kaaba. May we be dressed from it also. Ask for it. Don't perform animal actions in the streets. Perform servanthood in the mosques. This is what is asked from you. Amen. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Stuff of Wallace in Brazil, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I in the end of Allah, yes. Come, so long.